The mirror tool. To get to this tool, we'll be in our drawing workflow. Under the Home tab, on the Home ribbon, we're going to go to these Manipulate tools. It's in this first vertical row, second tool down. It's called Mirror. Select it. You'll notice, you notice in the dialog box, you have several different mirror directions. You have horizontal, vertical, and line. We're going to leave it set to horizontal for right now. You have About Element Center. We're going to leave that unchecked. And you have a Make Copy. We're going to turn that on. We're not going to worry about these multi-line offsets and text down here. We'll just click this up arrow to hide those. If you needed to offset some of those, you could check those on if you wanted. But for now, I'm just going to hide it. So basically now, if you want to mirror an item horizontally, just go out and identify the element. I'm going to go out and left click on this triangle. You can drag it up or down. We're just going to dynamically mirror this. If you had something to snap to, you could. I'm just going to drag it down a little bit. Left click to accept it. You can keep going if you want. I'm finished. I'm going to right click to end the tool. And I have my mirrored horizontal. I'm going to pan over to the next one. Which is mirror vertical. I'm going to go up and select my mirror tool again. I'm going to switch my method from horizontal to vertical. And this time I want to make it copy, so I'll check that on. Now all I have to do is go out and identify the element. I'm going to identify this cell. I'm going to left click to accept it. You can see it's starting to mirror it. Now I can just come out here and select anywhere on this vertical line. Just going to snap to one of the points, left click to accept it, and it mirrored that, that cell. If I'm done, just right click to reset it, and that's mirror vertical. I'm going to pan over to the next box. Now I'm going to go up and select the mirror tool again. This time I'm going to change my mirror direction from vertical to line. And I'll leave the make copy just checked on. And I'm going to go out and select the element I want to mirror. For this example, I'm just going to use this triangle. I'm going to left click to accept it. Now it's going to want the first point on the mirror line. There doesn't actually have to be a line out there to mirror it about. You could actually have two points if you wanted to mirror about it. But for this example, we're just going to use this line. Going to come down to one end, snap to it, left click to accept it. Now you can see it's trying to mirror that element. There's this little construction line out there. Of course, it wants the next endpoint of the mirror line. I'm going to go out and left click on the other end of the line. I'm going to go ahead and snap to it. And now it mirrored that triangle about that line. 